Welcome to Chatterbox with Bildo and Lindelin, your fun sized podcast guaranteed to make you giggle. Lindelin, use your fucking manners like your mother taught you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <gasps> right? Oh, Susie, she 100%. I have no doubt. We're all about manners here. That's oh. what we're talking about today, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> not our manners, per se. Our kids' manners. Our kids' manners. But it was our manners as kids, right? Straight like, up. My mum, we, like, it was so ingrained to us when you went to someone's yeah. house. Don't be a dick. <laughs> well, that, but, like, use your manners, like, 100%. Yeah. When someone's talking to you, how you act out in public, how you sit at the table, which we've already yes. talked about, you and I. <laughs> Every time now my kids, like, get up on the table to do something because they now do it on the regular. I feel like since we had that episode... For some reason, we were making fun of you at my house yes. about like, you know, how like until Lindsay's, uh, you know, yeah. table manners are very strict. 100%. I don't know what episode that was, but go back and listen to it. Yeah. It's hilarious. Um, and then since then, it's like we made this point of like making fun of you. So now yeah. my kids will get up on the table, not to eat or anything. Although sometimes if they're like snacking on things, they'll, you know. But anyway, we make fun of you um, in our house just for so many reasons, but that one's still. <laughs> um, totally. Listen, yeah. I think like growing up where I did, culturally yeah you were not to you like you cannot be impolite totally speaking to adults we always had like a miss or mister or whatever okay. before we say name yeah. so like if I ever saw my friend's parents I would never just be like oh hey Jenny it would always have to be like hello miss Jenny totally right yes I cannot yes. stand when I see like if my kids were ever be like oh yeah that's you know Amanda you know thingy's mom I'd be like no that's miss Amanda to you don't be fucking rude do you know, okay, so that's a good point. And I've never even thought of that because when I grew up, same thing. Yeah. So I'll use Mr. and Mrs. White as an example. They yes, were my yeah. neighbors. Yeah. Um, great. My, like her, their daughter, Jennifer, was like a really good friend of me, mine growing up. Yeah. Even now, because he follows yeah. me on Facebook, if I comment back to him, yeah. I would never call him by his first name. I'm still yes. Mr. White to him. Yes. But I have not made my kids follow that rule. I just think it makes me feel uncomfortable. Like this is an adult to you. And I know that it's just like, you know what I mean? Like I, I, it's like your Auntie Lindsay. So like yes. to me, if it's someone super close to us, it's going to be like Auntie Lindsay or Uncle Cameron. Yes. And if it's someone that's rather unfamiliar to us, I'll be like, oh, that's Miss Lindsay, Mr. Cameron. Do you know okay, what I mean? Okay, interesting. So I'll still let them use the first name, but I like you need to say Mr. Mr. Or if you say thank yes. you to someone, you'll be like, thank yep. you, Miss. Thank you, Miss, you know, Sir. Yeah. Sir and Miss is also a big thing for me. Like if we are yeah. somewhere and some dude's serving us, I'll be like, thank you, Sir. And I'll make the right. kids say the same thing. Yeah. I just feel like that to me, I can't, the idea that I would ever call my parents friends by mm -hmm. their first names. Yeah. Oh, strike me down immediately. Yeah. I would never. And I'm the same, like with my friend's parents, like I have a really, you know, like Sumi and Nathan's parents, I'll yeah. still be like, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Pickles. Like I yeah. would never just call them like, oh, hey, I know. Yes. I know the last you heard Pickles. her right, people. It's, it's Mr. True. and Mrs. Pickles. Yes. And I still call them that or I'll say Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. P. You yeah, know what I mean? Okay, like I yeah, don't, but yeah. I still like, even though we've known them for 20 years, these kids, people have yeah. known us, you know what I mean? Like we're now we're all adults. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, I, I get it. Yeah. Totally in agreement. I'm, I, and I'm actually sitting here baffled. I'm like, I wonder why yeah. that rule, because it was so ingrained to me, why I haven't filtered that down to my kids. But and now it's, I mean, it's not too late now for your kids, but like, it's not something that you've gotten to a habit of doing. So it's like, the yeah, I don't, missed. I think now yeah. it'd probably be a bit odd, but speaking of adults, yeah. like I am so pissed off with my kids when they especially to their grandparents oh. if an adult is talking to them yeah especially uh -huh. their grandparents and they do not make eye contact or make appropriate conversation <gasps> with them yes i ream them out hardcore after they leave yeah good absolutely it fucking infuriates me good. i'm like those are your grandparents yes. you show respect to them you look <sighs> them in the eye and you have a conversation i know you're young but you have a conversation a hundred percent. I feel like this could have easily turned into a wine chats episode because we <laughs> wanted to, like, I want to talk so much about this. I agree, especially with grandparents. Cause to me, I'm like, these people gave you life. Yeah, totally. So fucking respect this. Like, yeah. I feel like people who don't um, put enough emphasis on grandkids respecting their mm -hmm. grandparents mm -hmm. are just like missing a boat hard. Yeah. Because like, you're like these, like grandparents aren't going to be around forever. No. And you sitting on your iPad and not talking to your grandparents is not on. And that's what I say to Bane, especially Bane, because he's up. And he's bigger now as well. So like yes. he's a little bit more, you know, like just a little boy, boy. Yeah. But so it's harder to kind of get through to him. Yeah. But I feel like I'm so like, get off your fucking iPads, mm -hmm. sit down and talk to your grandparents. Like, just tell them about your day. Exactly. Just and tell them what you're doing. This is what Bane will say. But what do I say to them? 
I don't know. Talk to them about your day. Tell them about school. What's there to tell about school? I don't know. Did you have a math test? Tell them stuff that grandparents want to know. Ask like, them something. Grandparents it, love talking. It, it, well, they just love to hear anything about yes. the child's life. Totally. Right? Yeah. Um, the other thing, speaking of school. So, you know, when you have your parent-teacher interviews and the teacher always says, oh, so do you have any, like questions or concerns yes do you know what I always say because probably something similar to what I say go on probably yeah I was never an A student I totally I don't care about academics I don't care about academics as long as they are learning properly and there's no actual problems yes and that they don't need assistance Mm -hmm. I don't care if they're just a C student whatever um although my children aren't (laughs) (laughs) yeah I feel like my kids aren't but if they were C students I'd be a little bit like okay we need to do a little bit more at home but like yeah, yeah. Uh, they all take after Cameron, thank God, in oh, his brain. you, yeah. I always say to the teacher, are they respectful and do they use their manners? Yep. That's all I want to know. That's literally the same thing I will say. I'll be like, are they good? Like, are they kind? Are they yep. being like, are they listening? Like, what are they like in yep. class? I want to know that they're not being assholes in class. Totally. And every time they do something at home that annoys me, I'm like, I hope you're not doing this to your teacher at school. Oh, 100%. Right? Yeah. Like, you better yeah. not be behaving like yeah. this because that's not okay. Would you speak to Miss Bradford like that? <gasps> I say that all the time. Oh, every parent right? does. Right? Every parent. 100%. Like, yep. you better not be. Mm. I know, but we're like, so I was scared to my mom. Scared to my mom. Oh. Scared of my mom. Yep. I could see that. Growing up. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, not in a bad way, but she was, mom, hi, Susie. Um, very strict. Right. And her parents were very strict. Oh, my God. And Granny Dynamite. Granny she, Dynamite. Granny, Di- Granny D. Granny oh Dynamite. Oh my God, love it. She was this little firecracker. She was so short, but she was feisty. <laughs> she was the Polish one. Oh, so, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Granny D. She was so fucking cute. Anyway, so I'm assuming she was strict too. I don't know. I never saw that. Side. Surely she would have been. What grandma back in that day from Poland would totally. have been strict, right? So I remember going to my grandma's house. Okay. And this is where I get it from, like the OCD-ness and stuff. Right. And they had like rose-colored carpet back then. Oh my God. Was, okay. You know, and, and they were, they were quite comfortable. Okay. Money-wise. Yeah. Yeah. So they had a very nice house. My grandma would vacuum <gasps> the carpet. The stripes? The stripes. Yes. And if you dare <laughs> walk on those vacuum marks number one they would know because they see your footprint but how were you supposed to walk around the house like you oh, just no, walk there around par- the carpet oh there was parts of the house the children were not allowed oh my god this is what i'm saying like <laughs> we had to follow i guess there's more rules than manners but like but that still like goes to show like the rules were and you have to follow them that's not a and, totally and, like I, I think our kids now with those rules would just be like ah, i don't care blah, blah, blah. like they'll yeah. just run straight across that carpet but yeah, I don't yeah, know because yeah. we're not as you know what I mean. I don't well, know. I don't know because th- th- what I was gonna say is like with the carpet, I don't have carpet like that yeah. to leave marks in. But I'm uh, you don't fucking jump on the couch. No <gasps> jumping on right. the couch. Rule. Yes, fair enough. Absolutely not allowed. I yeah. give my kids trouble all the time because I feel like it's just not the it's not the right thing to do. It's not a fucking trampoline. I don't like it because it raises dust. You can only imagine my couch as well. Um, and also <laughs> my couch is backed up onto a set of stairs. Like, you yes. know what I mean? So what my kids are 100,000% not allowed to jump on the couch Ooh. just because of that. That's because like, But I also yeah. think like, yeah, I just don't like the idea of them just yeah. jumping everywhere and being, no, no. You go on a trampoline. That's why I bought you a trampoline. Exactly. You want to jump? Go jump out there. Very strict. Anyway, my kids are very well behaved. And if anybody um, sees them misbehaving, please feel free to send me a uh, hooro and I will. Oh, well, hello. Uh, hooro! Oh, well. <laughs> Your kids are being dicks. So I can teach them how to behave properly. At Where home. are their manners? Where are their manners? Why are we saying like that? I don't know. Just because okay. it feels good. All right. Goodbye. Go hit the button. Well, that was Chatterbox. Thanks for chatting with us. And remember to review, rate, subscribe, and come back and listen to us again. Is that it, Lenny? Done. Done. Tick.